This tutorial is for the EV shaders I'm selling on Blendermarkt and Gumroad. I didn't prepare this tutorial or documentation video at all, so I hope maybe we make something nice. Um, first I want to show you how one of the shaders work. This package comes with three kinds of shaders. Maybe in the future I add uh, a few more. Depends what um, if I get feedback or etc. Um, there are four types of shaders and I want to show you a little bit of the advanced uh, shader. So when you <coughs> unpack this uh, this package then you will get something like this. You will get a um, folder called, when you unzip it, you get a folder called JPEG or JPG. Uh, Pixelflux uh, project files, some of the textures um, I made with Pixelflux. Then you won't get this, um, also not this one, but you will get scenes, I believe. I have to double check it. Um, but you get the shaders, level 1, level 2, level 3, and advanced shaders and um, thumbnails, and these two, normal baker and normal mixer. So first I show you uh, this file, this the uh, advanced uh, shader. First I want to bake the indirect lighting, so it looks a little bit uh, better. In another video I showed you what uh, the, the difference of that. Um, okay, then I got here the node setup. There are quite some textures, but I showed you in another video that uh, doesn't really matter how many textures you are using in one material because I can copy this material later to another object and make it um, a single user copy and it uses the same textures but there are so many ways I can add variation that uh, the memory doesn't go uh, much up so if I choose these textures wisely, I can make a load of uh, materials and same scene with the same textures. So starting with this, the mapping, um, we have in fact two channels, two channels. And for each channel I can change uh, the mapping, for example, like that. So you see there are two layers um, and I can mix them together. This is a um, distortion of the UV mapping. Uh, this time I put them behind the mapping and that means that I distort the texture per tile whereas if I use that this group and this place then I got an overall uh, distortion and that is interesting for um, hiding tiles if, if you see tiling uh, also because we are using two textures uh, you won't notice easily um, tiling so that's the good part of uh, using two channels then um, this is obviously for the normal textures there's not much to do as you can select the normal textures this for the mm, maybe a strange um, a term of battle because we are going to define our colors here so these are more kind of um, masks 
I show you a list of all the um, textures. And there are quite a lot. Uh, I have to press on here and begin. Oh, I hear this. So there are really a lot of um, text. There, there are a lot of patterns. I made them a few years ago myself by um, uh, baffling and uh, ge geometry and do something with a normal note. <coughs> sorry, normal uh, note, and then somehow I can get these uh, textures by overshooting uh, bevels. Um, and uh, uh, noise textures and of course there are also other t uh, textures to download. These textures are uh, 2K uh, JPEG. And uh, I did some tests and I found that the most effective uh, way because I tried 4K PNG, but that's um, and yeah, that is not effective anymore. Um, so you can check there your um, your uh, the fuse. Uh, I forgot to show you. So the fuse is more. It doesn't matter what color it has, but as long as there is a vari <coughs> variation in value, uh, then so we have here we can choose masks. Uh, we so there are two textures, and one of the two channels we can choose to to mask. I put this uh, back on another um, scale. Oh, that's a bit annoying sometimes. Ooh, I'm lucky. I hope. Set this on for. Um, let's change the mask and you will see uh, that when you switch over to another one it's always like this then the shader has to recompile recom maybe it takes a bit longer so you see now um, the, the, no the normals are applied different so this part is now on top of that bump if I switch back then then it, it uh, reacts differently you can set that maybe more clear here And so you can do that also with the um, albedo. So uh, it has a completely different, um, completely different uh, effect. So with this shader, you can use it on another material, uh, change all kinds of things, um, and you don't have to worry too much about uh, use of memory. This is the normal strength. Um, here, this is for one channel, and this one is for the other channel. Um, here you can adjust the colors. And you can adjust the roughness with this one. Also choose a mask and define exactly how rough some part you want. Um, Okay, then we have two channels 
for um, variation on the albedo that helps also to hide the uh, tiling for example I'm going here to make it more obviously and I can make things like uh, this or I can do that in the other channel this one So loads of possibilities with um, that. And once you copy this material to another object, you can try it of course. So I go here, then I go to this, no that's the world, to this one copy material to select it then I make this a single user copy and now I'm going to change a few things like um, some scaling oh no um, I choose that one That was not good. So then change the colors. etc. So you see our memory didn't uh, go up that much because these materials are using the same textures but we got completely different uh, material here. Mm. Yeah that's pretty much uh, it. So yeah, I can change that one. This is always uh, easy to have this note so I can easily change the color per material. Let's render this out. That's it. Thank you for watching.